Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be going over the solution of sticky notes from the Code Shift December Challenge. So I'm going to skip the problem description and go on to the solution. So the first observation you have to make is that the, the initial arrangement of the weights of both the nodes and the edges does not matter because we're given the two operations here, which, al which allows us to swap the any two node weights or any two edge weights. So in fact, we can just take off the node weights and uh, and the edge weights off of the nodes and edges and uh, sort them in an array. The next observation is that if there exists a solution that uses x coins, then there also uses then there also exists a solution which uses x plus one coins, and this is pretty obvious because you can. You can simply just change, choose a vertex and uh, change its weight to infinity and you pay one extra coin without and you'll still satisfy this condition for all nodes. And because of this property, we can binary search for the minimum value of x, which is what we're trying to find in the problem. So our new problem now is, does there exist a solution with exactly x coins? And again, when we, if we have binary search, we can, we can just use binary search to solve the entire problem once we figure out how to solve this new problem. The third observation is that if we use x coins, then we should change the smallest x node, no, no ways to infinity. So for example, if x equals to 2, then we should just change the smallest 2 over here into infinity. And this is also pretty intuitive. And now we'll consider placing the node weights onto the nodes. And for small node weights, it makes sense to place them onto nodes with a smaller degree so that So that this condition is less likely to be violated. So what we do is start from the smallest node weights and we put them on a leaf because a leaf only has a degree of one. And then we also pair it with the smallest edge weight and set that as the edge adjacent to the leaf. We can continue to do this for additional node weights and edge weights. So in this, uh, in here we set this node to five and this edge to three. We do the same thing for this node weight and edge weight. But by now you might have realized that we don't have any more leaves yet. But that's not a problem because we can simply ignore these edges and consider this node as a leaf. This is, this is we, we can do that since we know that nine is greater than because nine is uh, has a greater weight than these two nodes, six and four, and we know that six and four, we know that six and four are greater than the corresponding edges, six and three. So we know that when we place a 9 over here, the 9 will be greater than 6 and 3, so it won't be a problem. So again, we place 9 as the node and the next smallest edge weight as the edge adjacent to the leaf. So what we've basically been doing so far is that we paired each node with an edge and basically we just need to check that if for each pair of node weight and edge weight if the node weight is greater than or equal to the edge weight then we will have a solution so for example in this case of x equals to 2 we have a solution for this given tree and this the given set of node weights and edge weights 
However, for x equals to 1, when we pair the node weights with the edge weights, uh, some, some node weights are greater than edge weights. So for x equals to 1, it doesn't work. Since x equals to 2 works, but as x equals to 1 doesn't, then the answer for this graph is 2. And I'll include uh, a slightly commented code in the comments.